Hello everybody, welcome back to Steve's Gear. Today we're going to unbox another new item. It's something that I've never had before by a brand that I'm relatively new to, but I do have a few items from them. Today we're going to look at an unboxing of the Alpaca Zip Pouch Pro. So we'll go ahead and open it up. Take a look at it. I've never opened it up, never played with it, anything like that. So it's just kind of a basic EDC pouch. Um, I've seen a couple of reviews of some of the items, and I always thought that they looked pretty good quality. And this one kind of fits the bill for what I was looking for. So I don't know a ton about these type of items. Uh, this one is in the X-Pack VX21 fabric. So this one comes in, I believe, black and dark green. You can get this fabric. So it's just kind of your basic zipper pouch. Um, you know, it has a little bit of silica gel, but it has the bright orange interior which I think is kind of cool for finding items quickly, kind of in low light type scenarios. I kind of like it. It's got a zipper on the front, a zipper on the top, and then it has a few pouches. You can hold a few EDC items. And I had a few items in mind that I thought I'd be able to carry in it. So we'll go ahead and test those out and see how they look. I mean, obviously, you know, if you're into EDC stuff, it probably changes about every week anyway, so we'll put this week's stuff in and see how it all fits, then maybe we'll change it up at a later time. Yeah, this one is supposed to have RFID blocking material inside also. I don't really know if that's much of a thing anymore, but if you do decide to put some credit cards in there, this is supposed to be able to hold between 4 and 12 cards. It does have some, if you can see it, it does have some separating sections in here. So you could put some cards on one side, some cash, some coins, anything like that. Um, it's all supposed to be weatherproof fabric with those AquaGuard YKK zippers. So that is kind of nice. I mean, I do get kind of, when I'm working outside, I do get a little bit wet. From time to time in my area we get a lot of rain we get snow you know you throw it in your front pocket or your back pocket occasionally on those bad days i gotta lay out in the snow somewhere or get down and get up again pants get a little bit wet it's nice to know that if i put something in here hopefully it will stay dry but yeah let's take a look at maybe some use case scenarios we'll get rid of get rid of this little tag here real quick and this is one of the items I thought about putting in there bench made bug out I thought, you know wouldn't be a bad bad knife to carry it's lightweight not too big pretty slim fits in there nice and then you got two slots on this side multi-tool was the idea I was originally thinking but I thought you know made these little Pliers would work out pretty good. Well, I did see in their literature that it said those pliers were supposed to fit in there, and they actually do fit well. Nice spot to keep them in there. And then a pen, I thought, was kind of thinking in there thing. So we'll kind of do a bonus unboxing here also. So I did get another small Olight. I do have Olight pen. Um, I do have the small one in green that I carry almost every day. But... We have a nice purple one. So we'll see how that goes. Obviously, we got a lot of room for that pin in there. Fits in just fine. So we got a pin, some pliers, a knife. And they all seem to fit in there pretty well. Still have some room. It definitely takes away a little bit of room having those items in there. But we could definitely fit a couple cards in there. 
I was thinking for business cards. Uh, I do carry business cards. I thought, you know, throw some business cards in there. Hopefully they won't get wet. Front pouch. Plenty of room to stick something in there. It's not a huge spot. You could put either another tool in there. You could throw some cash, some coins. All types of little things. But I do like it. It's nice and small. It's nice and thin. Obviously, if you keep adding stuff in the middle, you're going to get some a little bit more bulk. But those items are pretty good for what I carry. I don't think the Leatherman, if you've watched my previous video, you see the Leatherman that I carry. It's pretty big. I don't think it would fit too well in one of these pouches. You might be able to stuff it in there, but I think if you stuffed it in there, you basically would lose most of your interior space. That's why I do like that that knife in there. I thought about it, and I thought, it's pretty thin. Everything in there. It's also supposed to be a ripstop fabric. I was a little bit nervous about that. Um, but yeah, that pin works great for in there. I did also grab another pin. I grabbed the little TI, uh, just a little screw pin. I thought, well, it could go in there. Oh yeah, it fits in there way easy. You could actually run both pins if you really wanted to. Pull it out, use it. So, kind of take your choice on the pins. I think a full-size pin would might be a little, a little big for it. You could probably fit a full-size pin if you wanted to. But I like that these are flush. You know, you don't have to worry about opening them up, keeping them in there. Another option that I kind of thought about is if you decided you wanted to just keep the knife on your pocket, I thought you could hold it. You could also hold a small flashlight. So we'll grab a small one. We'll grab the i3T in carbon fiber. Easily fits in there. You know, you might even be able to, we'll see, you might even be able to fit the i3T and a pin in there. Uh, it'd be a little tight. I3 tight. That's a pretty tight slot there. I mean, it would work. But you are kind of giving up some of that interior space now. It's pretty... Yeah, I mean, you definitely lose some... Yeah, you can still get some stuff in there, but it does get tighter having that in there. I mean, if you didn't want to use the pliers, you could use the light. You could use a pen. And you can use the knife. Or if you decide to carry the knife in the pocket, you can always stick the pliers on this side. Pretty good little carry option there. Uh, the light obviously just is kind of the being round. You can see that it kind of pushes down on the fabric. So you do lose, you definitely lose some interior space having that light in there. But if you weren't going to put much in there besides like me, like throwing some business cards in there, it would be just fine. On this side, you still have plenty of room for that pouch. Throw whatever you want in there. I mean, you could even throw the pin in there if you really wanted to. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Pull tabs seem nice. They're kind of a kind of a rubbery material. They have a little bit of grip on them. I don't know if you can see. Kind of like they got a little. You can hear that. But yeah, the material is pretty good. Zipper's pretty much close to the end. Not much gap left in there. Looks like it's pretty well closed up. See a little bit of that orange in there. But not much expandability. I mean, there's not much channel built into the side, so it doesn't expand much. Those pliers are a little loose. Yeah, that might be a little loose on that side for them. Might pop right out. I might carry the... Might carry the knife on, I mean, the light on that side. Maybe put the pliers on this side. Yeah, they do fit a little better on that side. So, I don't think the knife, yeah, too small to fit with the knife in there. But, there's all different types of lights. You may have a smaller light. You might decide to carry one of those in your pocket. You can kind of carry all different types of things in there. But I thought that'd be a nice item to throw in the back pocket. You could even put in the front pocket. It's not too thick. 
not a whole lot. Well, it's a little bit bigger than a wallet, but depends on, I guess, how much stuff you decide to throw into the front, into the pockets. But yeah, I mean, I got two pins, a knife, and a pair of pliers. These are the four inch ones. I mean, if you didn't know which ones these are, with the four inch. So you could get the five inch. Looks like they would fit just fine. Yeah, it's kind of a basic review today of an alpaca pouch. Zip Pouch Pro, as they call it. This one runs $35. Uh, I think I got it a little bit of a deal. I ordered several items from them. So I think it was a little bit cheaper. I think I got 10% off for some sale they were having. on 10% off on the order. But yeah, if you want to see more alpaca gear... Comment below. Like I said, I did buy a few extra things. Um, yeah, they are nice. If you have any ideas of things to put in there that'd be pretty small and be able to fit well, feel free to comment them down below. But, all right, everybody have a good day. That's kind of a basic overview of that pouch. See you tomorrow.